Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at some Philo striking cap screwdrivers. Specifically we are looking at part number 31720 which is a five piece striking cap set with polypropylene carbonate handles. I really do like the wooden handled versions of the Philo drivers so I thought I would give this set a chance. You're going to see me comparing these quite a bit to the wooden handled versions because I favor that set so much. This set has a couple of sizes that are not available in the, with the wooden handles. The set is from the 206 series which is supposed to be the strongest and most heavy duty driver that Philo offers in this product line. This particular set includes three large slotted sizes as well as a Phillips number two and number three. First thing you'll notice about this set is the sheer weight of the drivers in comparison to a normal driver of comparable size. To give you an idea what I mean, here is a Phillips number two from the wooden handled 330 series. This particular driver comes in at 93 grams. The equivalent driver from the 206 series comes in at, at 110 grams, which may not appear to be much of a difference but ends up being around 18% heavier than the wooden counterpart. Looking at the main features of this series, you will notice quite a few differences between the wooden handle drivers. The first being the bolster nut on the screwdriver that allows a spanner to be used to gain more torque. The nut on the 206 series is black phosphated and is not created as one piece along with the shaft like it is done on the wooden handled version. Instead, a hexagonal shaft is used and the nut is slipped on during one of the production steps. This nut will be either a 10mm or 13mm depending on the size of the driver. These bolster nuts do come in handy, especially when you need to turn a large slotted screw that has been rusted in place. The handle of the driver is made from a polypropylene carbonate, better known as PPC, which is quite an interesting choice for a screwdriver handle. With it being polypropylene, it is resistant to nearly all solvents out there, but stay away from chlorinated brake cleaner that contains tetrachloroethylene which will cause a severe reaction with this material. I also wouldn't suggest using this around any type of hydraulic oil as it will soften this particular plastic. The interesting thing about this material is that it's not a super hard plastic and that it provides a moderately nice gripping surface as is. The steel striking cap on the end is also black phosphate and it provides a very large target to transfer that energy from a hammer blow. I did check with a magnet to make sure that the shaft extended all the way to the striking cap and it does. Judging from the weight of these drivers I would surmise that the hex shaft remains the same size all the way to the striking cap. For those that aren't familiar with the striking cap driver, these are usually used to loosen a rusted fastener before attempting to turn it. The theory is that striking the fastener will provide enough shock to break the bond that may have formed from rust or galvanic corrosion caused from differences in metals between the fastener and a tapped hole. These particular drivers are not marketed as chisel drivers, so I wouldn't suggest using them for a chisel. There are some companies that offer chisel drivers with striking caps, but it doesn't appear that Philo is one of them at this time. Looking at the tips, I'm not sure if the black surface is simply a coating or is the product of some sort of heat treating. I'm guessing that is just a very heavy duty coating. Whatever it is, it does stand up pretty well. It is not just a layer of black paint that you may encounter in very cheap screwdrivers. On some of the drivers you can see the tooling marks made by the CNC lays used to produce the end of the shafts. I've been using these for a couple months now and they've been performing quite well and are holding up just as well as the wooden handle versions. The handles are the same familiar shape as the wooden ones and the tips provide the same gripping power. I have gotten these quite greasy from a couple of teardowns, some of which you have already seen. I always clean the drivers using ballistol afterwards and as a result it looks like the silk screening on the handle has either started or completely worn off depending on the frequency of use. On the Phillips number two you can see that there are no markings left whatsoever. Luckily there is a small Philo logo embossed at the base of the handle so you can still identify it as a Philo if need be. I'm not sure if it was just the general use or the ballast tool that caused the text to wear off but I have the feeling it is a combination of both. But overall they are holding up quite well considering I've been using them almost exclusively for a couple of months now. These are definitely some heavy duty drivers. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that look at Philo's 206 series striking cap screwdrivers. Check out the link in the description to the full review. The KC Tool and Amazon affiliate link to these products are also in the description if you feel the urge to pick a set up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.